23 ABC's digital update is brought to you by West Medical. Good evening, I'm Jessica Harrington. Here's what's making headlines around Kern County. The new daily coronavirus cases reported today show a significant drop from figures we saw last week. Kern County Public Health reported 264 new cases of the virus today. This comes after more than 1,200 cases of the virus were reported over the weekend. We're now at 45,342 total cases. Public Health did not report any new deaths because of the virus today. Meanwhile, Governor Newsom announced a new app to make stopping the spread of COVID-19 in the state a little more manageable. It's called CA Notify. People can download the app and receive information about COVID-19. This is only as good as people's adaptation and utilization. Opting in, it's not an opt out. You make the decision. It's not a contact tracing app. It's a notification app. If you choose to use it, uh, we can leverage uh, more and more uh, utilization, which will make us more effective and more meaningful. California leadership says the app does not look at a user's location data. Now, as a reminder, the app is voluntary and is set to roll out Thursday. The Tehachapi Unified School District is going back to distance learning. A release says this is due to inadequate staffing levels. The decision was made today and starting now, all students must return to distance learning. All school offices will also close under the decision. Parents and students can still contact teachers and staff via email and by phone. Temperatures still a little bit on the warm side for our Tuesday. 64, your high temperature in Bakersfield, 63 in Tehachapi, plenty of 60s in eastern Kern County as well. But it's actually not the temperatures that are the big story. It's going to be the winds once again. Not so much here in the valley, but once again, eastern Kern County and southern Kern County as well. In the mountains, they're dealing with some wind gusts 20 to 25 miles per hour, peak gusts 30, possibly even more than 30 in some of the most wind prone areas. So this dry desert wind means high fire danger again for our Tuesday red flag morning is in effect. Fact. Again, not for the valley though. Things are looking okay. Partly cloudy skies for our Tuesday. 68 degrees for our Wednesday. That's a nice day with plenty of sunshine. And then we actually cool off a little bit towards the end of the week, all the way down to 59 degrees. One of the coolest days we've had in quite some time for our Friday. Seven day forecast for the mountain communities. Again, still windy tomorrow, calming down those winds as we head into Wednesday. And then again, Thursday, Friday, and even into Saturday, another round of slightly breezy conditions. That's your latest news and weather update. For the latest news anytime, be sure to head to our website, turn to 23.com.